from Daily Forex. This is Chris taking a look at the euro dollar and you can see just nowhere to be today. A lot of banging back and forth uh, for the euro as we hang around in the support level. If we break these lows here, then we could go to 113 and a half. But really, the Brexit has basically made the euro and the pound toxic for traders. It's a great place to lose money right now. Um, I know a lot of traders will look at this and go, well, why don't I go down to the five minute chart and trade it? Well, I mean, you can, but uh, it's a great way to lose money in my experience because they're such micro moves. If we do break 115, that's bullish, but I don't see the market going above 116. A breakdown below these lows again, 113 and a half. The British pound rallies every time there's a Twitter headline suggesting that there's something positive happening somewhere in the United Kingdom or the Brexit or something like that. And uh, these all tend to be false headlines. Uh, somebody's clearly uh, making the bots move the markets in the way that they need them to. Uh, at this point, we have broken through a major downtrend line, and it does look like we're finding support. So I still like the idea of buying British pounds, but I would do so with almost no leverage um, in anticipation of a, a Brexit deal. And then you can really start to pile on. I think a lot of smart money is starting to do that. You know, remember the institutional players are, are doing like 10 to 1 leverage. 7 to 1 is probably a little more common uh, as opposed to retails uh, traders who will do 200, 400, 1,000 to 1 sometimes. So at this point, I think it is a buy-only market, but uh, I wouldn't expect much out of it. <music>